Chapter 2. Following the wake of dictators, war and rumors of war, a ravaging plague, the Purple Death, strikes the earth. Flash Gordon and Professor Zarkoff, believing Ming the Merciless is behind the Purple Death, start with Dale Arden in Zarkoff's rocket ship for Mongo. Arriving in Arborea to enlist aid of Prince Baron, they meet Freya, Queen of the Ice Kingdom, also seeking Baron's aid against Ming. Joining forces, they break into Ming's laboratory in time to halt a fiendish laboratory test. But Flash, pitted against a giant of tremendous strength, That don't send out a general of the law. Impossible, sir. The intercommunication system was destroyed in the explosion. Get to the broadcast room, send out word that Dr. Zarkoff and Flash Gordon are at liberty in Mongo. But I am prepared to pay 100,000 Mingos the man who captured them alive. Zarkoff is clever. He struck directly at my laboratory in the energy pit, the source of the death dust. But he failed to completely destroy it, Your Majesty. Yeah, but the damage he did will delay my conquest. Why were the disguises, Mr. Jim? Well, Dr. Zarkov and Flash Gordon made a pact with Queen Freya. They to rescue General Luffy in return for the right to mine polarite in Phrygia. Polarite? What's that? Polarite is the only antidote to the death dust. It can be found in only the far, barren northern waste of Phrygia. Flash Gordon and Zarkov must not escape. Flash and Zarkov have been trapped in the pit room. We've got to go back. They must have been killed or taken. We'll all be trapped if we wait longer. They risked their lives to get you away from Ming, General Lupi. We stay here till they come. Flash. Flash! We've got to move fast, men. Is everyone here? All but Ronald. He must have been taken and we can't wait. If Ronald's a prisoner, I'm going back. I saw him fall. Ronald! Flash. Flash, I've news that will beat Emperor Ming. I have news that you're here. Save the rest of it. We've got to get out of here. I know the region well from the air. We'd be able to locate the polarite without any difficulty. Because the energy it generates causes the snow to melt above the deposits. Of course, the clothes we wear will be treated with calroid, which will afford complete protection from the cold. Ships are ready, Baron, whenever you are. Good. We'll start at once at Zarkov's rocket ship. The worker crew will follow in one of mine. I shall go with you, Flash Gordon. After all, Phrygia is my kingdom. But your majesty's life is too valuable to be placed in this danger. But you are taking Dale Arden. Miss Arden is a chemist, a radio operator, and one of my most valuable assistants. She knows only too well the dangers we may meet. Your life belongs to your people, Your Majesty. I shall pray for your speedy return, my captain. Ming will know of this. <laughs> Like old times, being at war again with Ming, Zarko. War is right, but we may expect to encounter Ming's patrol ships at any minute. I'll throw the transparency screen around us until we're ready to land.
heard from Captain Torch. Not yet, sir. You will just about have had time to... That's the signal now. Come in, Captain Torch. And we've covered the entire area. There's no sign of the Zarkov expedition. Ask His Imperial Majesty if the search is to be continued. The Emperor is speaking. You have your orders. Zarkov and Fleisch must be kept alive. The others are to be destroyed. Your life depends upon the accomplishment of this commission. That is all. most plentiful under that black peak over there. Take this polarometer. It will indicate your direction if you find yourself at fault. All right, Doctor. As soon as we locate the stuff, we'll radio you to send the miners. Right. I'm ready, Flash.
sign of life down there. We've got to find him. After middle landing beyond that range. Yards. Drop the next one on that mountain of snow and ice at the edge of the ridge. 